In this video we are going to talk about British Virgin Islands. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. British Virgin Islands, a British overseas territory, is a stunning and magical place to visit. This archipelago boasts everything from rolling green hills, to beautiful mountainous landscapes, reef-lined glittering beaches, and popular shipwrecks, with a large portion of the islands left undisturbed. The British Virgin Islands are a fascinating 36-island archipelago, 16 of which are uninhabited, that provide a variety of marine activities and a laid-back atmosphere. These islands, dubbed nature's little secrets, are a treasure trove of nature in its purest form. British Virgin Islands is one of the best Caribbean resorts, with white sandy beaches, brilliant blue water frothing at the banks, immaculate gardens, verdant mountains, diverse flora and wildlife, and a hassle-free lifestyle. This Caribbean archipelago's strategic location has made it a magnet, for yachting lovers and an international sailing hotspot. The largest island, Tortola, and the second largest, Virgin Gorda, are both full of exciting surprises for travelers. The baths and seashore stones that form labyrinths beautify the former, while the latter is noted for its sailing prowess. Despite the fact that it is an expensive resort, a trip to this Caribbean jewel is well worth it. Tourism generates about 45% of the country's revenue. The islands are a favorite vacation spot for Americans. Tourists go to the island's abundant white sand beaches, the baths on Virgin Gorda, the coral reefs at Anagada, and Jost van Dyck's well-known taverns. The British Virgin Islands are regarded for being one of the world's best sailing locations, and charter sailboats are a popular way to visit the most remote islands. The BVI Spring Regatta and Sailing Festival has been held since 1972. Cruise ship passengers make up a significant portion of visitors to the BVI and while they generate significantly less cash per person than charter boat and hotel visitors, they are nevertheless crucial to the sizable and politically influential taxi driving industry. Taxi drivers are only allowed to be Virgin Islanders. Roads go for 113 kilometers, 70 miles. Terence B. Letsam International Airport, also known as Beef Island Airport, is located on Beef Island, which is accessible via the Queen Elizabeth II Bridge, and is located off the eastern edge of Tortola. Scheduled service is provided by Cape Air and Air Sunshine, among others. Anagada and Virgin Gorda both have their own minor airports. Island Birds Air Charter operates private air charter services that fly directly to all three islands from any major Caribbean airport. Helicopters are utilized to reach islands without runways. Antilles Helicopter Services is the country's only helicopter service. Road Town is home to the main harbor. Within the British Virgin Islands and to the neighboring United States Virgin Islands, ferries are also available. Cars in the British Virgin Islands drive on the left, just like in the United Kingdom and the United States Virgin Islands. However, practically all cars are left-hand drive, having been imported from the United States. When it rains, ruts can become an issue on the steep, narrow, and curving roadways. The British Virgin Islands are made up of roughly 60 tropical, Caribbean islands varying in size from the largest, Tortola, which is 20 kilometers, 12 miles, long and 5 kilometers, 3 miles, wide, to tiny uninhabited islets, covering a total area of around 150 square kilometers, 58 square miles. They're in the Virgin Islands archipelago, around 95 kilometers, 59 miles, from the Puerto Rican peninsula and a few miles east of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Anguilla is located 150 kilometers, 93 miles, east-southeast of Anguilla. To the east of the islands is the North Atlantic Ocean, and to the west is the Caribbean Sea. The majority of the islands were formed by volcanic activity, and have a hilly, rough topography. Mount Sage, at 521 meters, is the highest point on Tortola. Anagada is a flat island made mainly of limestone and coral, which sets it apart from the rest of the group geologically. The Leeward Islands moist forests and Leeward Islands, xeric scrub terrestrial ecoregions are found on the British Virgin Islands. Hurricane Irma slammed the islands on September 6, 2017, leaving major damage and four deaths. 
financial services, 60%, and tourism, 40%, are the economy's twin foundations, roughly 40 to 45% of GDP. Tourism is the more important of the two in terms of politics, as it employs a bigger number of people in the territory and a greater proportion of the tourist industry's enterprises, as well as a number of the extremely tourism-dependent sole traders, are locally owned, for example, taxi drivers and street vendors. Financial services related with the territory's role as an offshore financial center, on the other hand, are by far the most important in terms of economics. 51.8% of the government's revenue comes directly from offshore company license fees, with significant additional funds earned directly or indirectly via payroll taxes on salaries paid in the trust business sector, which tend to be higher on average than those paid in the tourism sector. Since 1959, the British Virgin Islands' official currency has been the United States dollar, US dollar, which is also used by the US Virgin Islands. The British Virgin Islands, seen as a tax haven by some, due to its opaque financial system, has one of the more successful economies in the Caribbean, with a per-capita average, per average income of roughly $42,300 At the time of the 2010 census, the average monthly income of a worker in the territory was US$2,452. A total of 29% of the population was classified as poor income. Although economic inequality is frequently criticized in the British Virgin Islands press, economists have made no significant attempt to develop a Gini coefficient or other measure of income equality for the territory. According to a survey from 2000 income disparity in the British Virgin Islands was lower than in any other OECS state, despite the fact that in global terms income disparity in the Caribbean is higher than in many other regions. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.